Stay with us. Stay with us. Alright. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay, we're going through That's me. Stabbed in my left thigh. Stabbed in my right shoulder. Stabbed in the left armpit. Stabbed in my chest. But the worst? That was caused by Danny stabbing me in my stomach. He twisted the knife on the way in, leaving a large hole in my liver that just wouldn't stop bleeding. It took me 10 hours to die. This girl, she's so lovely, she's going to be my future wife. I knew that maybe for the first time, Shakila said, met a girl that really, that he really, really liked. Just 16 and had fallen in love, but Shakila's Townsend was cruelly betrayed. He'd been seeing Samantha Joseph for just six weeks, but she was also in another relationship. When that boy found out she was two timing him, he dumped her. She would do anything to get him back and agreed to set up Shakilis for a beating. On July the 3rd last year, both boarded the number 450 bus in Thornton Heath, as you can see them here. During the journey, she rang her former boyfriend, 18-year-old Danny McLean, from her mobile phone. It was the ninth call that day, every time letting him know where they were. As she and Shakilis got off the bus here in Beulah Crescent, six teenagers, including McLean, were waiting for him. They chased him into this cul-de-sac. There was really nowhere for him to escape. They then kicked, punched, and struck him with a baseball bat, and even stabbed him. They then cornered him over there, and soon afterwards, he died. These are some of the boys that killed him. They're part of the Shine My Nine gang, a group of youths from the South London area. 
Shekinah suffered severe blood loss after a knife cut through his liver and major arteries. There was nothing doctors here at St George's Hospital in Tooting could do to save him. He lost all this huge amount of blood. It was a horrible injury. And it was deliberate. It wasn't just a knife poked in. It had been put in and then horribly twisted. It was a ghastly injury. So there was really no chance of survival? No. Samantha Joseph admitted setting a trap for Shekinahs, but said she thought he was only going to be beaten up. I'd describe her as cold and callous. Uh, no remorse in the courtroom and, and no remorse throughout the proceedings uh, with the criminal justice system. Shekinahs had been lured to his death. As he lay on the ground, the Old Bailey jury heard he'd cried out for his mother and said, I don't want to die. I have a 16-year-old daughter who at times can be very manipulative, but would never imagine leading somebody to their death. So, so... Samantha Joseph was today found guilty, along with members of this gang, of killing Shekylis. They can all expect long sentences behind bars. Guy Smith, BBC News. He trusted her.